Welcome back subscribers. Welcome back to our channel. Hello everybody. My Anna's carrying me. We're going for a walk. The warmer weather is starting to hit us. And with that, the bindi eyes are coming headstrong. And with that, Bambi says, I ain't walking. So Nana, you gotta carry me, please. And I have to say it's quite a windy day. So please excuse the windy ness in the air. Well, went to buy a print today. That's all I was trying to spit out. And had to go buy one because my so-called husband is selfish and didn't want to. He didn't want us to print on his printer. And my daughter's getting paid to print out some stuff for work at home. Because I really don't have the ability to do it at work. It's okay. I'm not going to get bindi eyes here. There's no bindi eyes here, Bubba Girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. I do understand where she's coming from. I just picked a couple of bindies out of the bottom of the pool and they would have affected the way she was walking. So lucky I checked. So, yeah, so I had to go to find your printer. He rang up his daughter and said, Where is the ink out of the printer? I don't know, I just took out the, I bought other ink for it, so I just took out the ones that I bought because you told me I couldn't use your printer. So, you know, I went to the um, office desk. I looked inside the first, the second and the third drawer and I found the ink he couldn't find in the third bottom drawer because he's blind. I obviously don't know why he didn't find it. But we have a little sit down for a minute. Come over here. You want to sit up here? Good girl. Oh, pardon me. We're going to have a sit down for a minute. Yeah, so. Why he's got the shits is because I had to spend some of my money on medical expenses. I've now got a wound and I have to keep it clean and I have to keep it from getting sweat on it, etc., etc. And with that, comes having to spend money. So we were virtually all out of meat, not all out of all grocery items because, I mean, the kids and I, we can eat vegetarian, but he won't. So I'll give up on that bag. I've got to fix when I get home. And anyway, so he kept asking me, when are you going to do the shopping? When are you going to do the shopping? When are you going to... And he hounds, he hounds. Everything with him is quite negative. And I don't even want this, this vlog to be negative, but it has to be if I'm going to explain his actions and his behaviour. So, anyway, how about we keep walking, bands? Come on. Anyway, so, um, that's right, now I lost my train of thought. So, he wanted to know when we were going, when I was going to do the shopping. And I shop on the internet anyway to make it a lot easier. So, anyway, I explained to him that with my medical expenses, with my car rego, with the insurance for the car and all that coming out I didn't have much left over I had probably 50 bucks and I know I needed to get my scripts so that would be around about 40 because I'm not on the free PBS at this stage so I needed to have what are you sniffing I need to have some money left over so therefore I had nothing for the shopping that's when he took himself off to the spare room again <laughs> It's actually his room, probably his room because it is a mattress on the floor and I can't get down there. And usually all there is when we have four, I've physically been told to get out of the room and pushed out. I mean this time he picked up the queen size mattress to the extent where I rolled off the bed, I hit my head on the bedside table and I was knocked unconscious. Only for a matter of seconds. But that's all it took. So anyway, so he's taking himself out this time. And I mean, I'm glad because it's his attitude. So let him suffer the consequences of his actions for now on. 
I'm so sick and tired of being the person to have to put up with this shit. It's all right, there's no bindi eyes here. See, there's none. So, yes. Well, come on, we can walk on the concrete if you want. Fucking fussy dogs, I tell you. Well, I don't, I don't, I can't understand her ways because she's a bit, she's scared she'll get more bindi eyes, so that's fair enough. I'm at the park now. I'm gonna walk around a few times if she doesn't, ah, oh, fuck. Knock me out in the interim. Wow, I can see the Dream World Tower of Terror from here. Come on. <coughs> That's how close I am. But it's still all bushland. See if you can see in the background. See, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful park. Actually, once here I even seen someone kneeling and praying to Mecca. Is it Mecca? Not sure who it's to, but I think it's the Muslim belief. I don't know enough to actually say too much about it, so. Oh my God, Bambi, you and your nostrils, you and your 3,000 nasal receptors. Yeah, anyway, so he's, we're in the shit house again. So, and he's just so nasty. Like, Last yesterday, Lauren was printing my daughter, and he came out of the spare room, and he goes, "Hey, hey, hey!" Not, excuse me, Ren or Lauren. He went, "Hey, hey, hey!" Didn't even mention his daughter's name, and that's how he got her attention. All to say. That printer is not meant to be printing a lot of stuff. It's not to print a lot of stuff. It doesn't work like that. It's not built. To, it doesn't work and it's not built that way to print a lot of stuff. I'm fucking believable. Yet he prints his work, not work stuff, because he just thinks that's shit anyway. He hates MSS. Um, um, he prints out his study stuff. Sometimes it's 70 pages, 80 pages. The most he's actually printed once before was 130 pages. So, anyway, enough about that shithead. I don't want to talk about that stupid person. The, oh, stop it right there. Don't lower yourself to their standards. So, yes, we're down the park. We're off walking as usual. We'll go around one more time, then we'll go home. I think she's getting a bit tired and who's going to end up carrying her? Nana is. So there you have it. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you Bambi off for a little bit now. And my shadow. Hi! Come on! Come on! Walking along, singing a song. James Bond. They recorded it in the 1980s, I think he said. Wow. Oh my God. It's just obviously someone keeps looking after it because there's no dust anywhere. It was, oh, fuck. It was so nice. In the end, they ended up getting, the police ended up coming along and getting them out. But they're a lovely bunch of blokes. And I've only just rekindled their face, I'm um, sorry, their YouTube page again. Um, because I've been unwell and I haven't had a chance to watch all my subscriptions or sub all my subscribers that I subscribe to, if that makes sense. Well, it's just they're not coming out so well today. I'm just a little stressed over this whole Alex situation, but anyway. So yeah. 
And that's right, that's what I was going to say. Oh, you're right. Okay, yes, we're going home. Come on, we're going home. Come on. I think I'm going to leave it there today for today. You guys take care. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel. Share my vlogs as much as you like. Like them, comment, and don't forget to hit that notification button and it will tell you that I've uploaded a new vlog so you can watch it. Have a glorious day today. Love to all. Yes, again, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, hit the notification bell, and by all means, feel free to comment. Bye for now.